Alright everyone, welcome to the Department of Comics. My name is Efren, aka Passpoint One Comics, and these are new books that are that are going to be coming out on April 21st, next Wednesday. To me, new comic book day is like Christmas. I can't wait for next week to see which books are gonna be available and hopefully I'll get the majority of them. <laughs> If I bought them all though, I mean, I wouldn't have any money. So I try to pick and choose ones that really um, stick out to me. So um, away we go. First one is Geiger number one. Um, it's a Frank Glow in the Dark. Uh, this is like a second print of this book. Um, so Geiger number one, I've read it. It's a good storyline so far. So I'm definitely going to pick up this book because one is Geiger and two is Glow in the Dark. And to me, <laughs> Glow in the Dark and dragons always grab my attention and I get them no matter what. <laughs> Next up is Nom Nomen Omen number 14 of 15. This is by uh, Image Comics 2. As I just said a couple seconds ago, dragons. So enough said. And here's cover number two. Next up is Stray Dogs number three, uh, cover A. Stray Dog is a good storyline. Basically is this serial killer who kills his victims but he takes their dogs to own them but in this storyline the dogs can think and talk and one of them knows something is up that hey this is not my master what happened and it goes from there and there's more than one cover here's cover b next we have ultra mega by james heron um number two cover a i've read ultra mega and um, it's a unique storyline. I'm not gonna say much more about it, but definitely pick it up as I know I am. And this is Kojakuru the Skinner, number one of two, cover A by Dark Horse Comics. And here's cover B. Next we have Godzilla Monsters and Protectors, number one, cover A by IDW Publishing. And here is cover B. This is Carnage, Black, White, and Blood number two by Marvel Comics. And here's another cover for it. The Mighty Valkyries number one of five. Uh, Valkyrie right now is Jane Foster. She was the only Valkyrie left, but during King in Black, there are other Valkyries now, so this is a continuation of their storyline. And here's another cover of Valkyries. And there's like about three or four covers. And the last cover is uh, Jace, I mean, not Jace, Scott Campbell, sorry. The last cover is Scotty Young. If anybody has seen my previous videos, when it comes to Scotty Young, Scotty Young books, Dragons, and Glow in the Dark, I gotta have. <laughs> okay, that's three so far. And this is X-Force number 19. I like this cover, but it has Jean Grey. Looks like she's in pain of some sort. And you know, she has psychic abilities. And her, and her hair is like spreading out. And you see other characters inside of her hair. So it looks like a, it's a cool looking cover. So that's why I'm getting this one. Vengeance of Vampirella number 16. It's a virgin cover. I like this cover because it has like a close up of uh, Vampirella. Uh, black and white, but there's some like blood trickling down the side of her mouth. Layla Star number one by Boom Studio. The many deaths of Layla Star number one. And there's subsequent um, covers to that that I'm going to show also. Power Rangers Unlimited Air to Darkness number one, second printing. When books are really popular, um, there are many times there are second printings and third printings and fourth printings, etc. And sometimes the second, third, and fourth printings are more valuable than the first print than the first printing. The Girls of Dimension 13, number one by Aftershock Comics. Uh, Women of Marvel, number one, and its subsequent covers. Catwoman, number 30, by Jenny Frizon, and other covers that are right, I'll put right next to it uh, as uh, my other videos. I always, have a, I always have the main cover, 
and if there's subsequent covers, I put them right next to them, or if there's more than one subsequent cover, I put them in the bottom to fit them all into one screen for you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, here's the Catwoman, still. Uh, Batman Fortnite zero point number one, and it's subsequent covers. Captain Marvel number 28. Looks like in this, at least in this cover, she has something to do with the Sorcerer Supreme. Um, she started, looks like she's hanging out with um, Doctor Strange and you know, he's in the storyline right now. So that's why it has her as a Sorcerer Supreme. And here's a subsequent cover. Um, let me see what else I think. Oh no, um, cover Way of X number one. Here's the main cover and here's subsequent covers. And one of them is a, a Scotty Young cover and I'll show a close up of that one. So you you know me and Scotty Young, so I have to have it. <laughs> and I believe, oh, Unicorn number one by Scout Comics. And that is the last one. So um, these are books, like I said, that are coming out next week, April 21st. These are ones that grab my attention and hopefully uh, there'll be good storylines. I do read all my comic books. I'm really interested in uh, reading Unicorn number one by Scott Comics, see what it's all about. So these indie books, as I've stated before in other videos, I'm reading them more and more. They're capturing my imagination. I like reading them. I'm always gonna like reading Marvel and DC, the more established, you know, publications of course but indie books are they're pulling me in more and more like something is killing the children the department of truth uh, we live um, they're all really great storylines so i just don't focus on superheroes per se i like reading all kinds of genre of comic books so once again my name is efren thank you for watching our videos this is the department of comics